Our friends at WA Aquaponics have helped us out setting up the grow beds and the tanks. Now it's time to have some real fun with the fish. Tony Bart from Challenge Institute of Technology has joined us. Tony, what are the best varieties for us to be growing at home? Well, Steve, I believe that uh, silver perch are the ideal species because this is a species that will cope with our warm summers and our cool winters. Alternatively, you can use koi. Now, koi are not normally eaten, but for many people doing aquaponics, they don't want to eat the fish. The fish become like a pet. But of course, the koi still produce the waste needed by the plants. We've got Thea here who's just testing the water temperature. What's the water temperature there, Thea? I'm pretty sure it's 18. OK, and in the bag? It looks like 7 and a half to me. 17. OK, so we're about a degree difference, and we would need to wait probably another 10 to 15 minutes, because fish really don't like to be shocked. What we're going to do now is just add some water into the bag. So you want to scoop some water in there? And what we're doing is we're adjusting the water pH as well. Tony, what sort of numbers could we safely have in, a, say, a 500-litre tank? Well, in a 500-litre tank, if you talked about 10 to 15 fish, now, they'll get to harbour size, plate size, um, that's about 500 grams. Now, this is a small tank, bear that in mind, so we're not talking about a large number, but that's ideal for the average family. And a tremendous amount of fun as well. Oh, absolutely. With the fish in, uh, we always add the fish first because they supply the nutrients that the plants will need. So we add the fish first, they produce the waste, and then the plants can utilise that nutrient to grow well. So putting in the plants is going to be our next job. Can we help? You sure can.